Somebody asked the other day, how many cords do I really, really, really need? I know you say three cords is enough, is plenty, and three cords is plenty. But you may want to know a few more chords than just the three. So you have E, A, and B seventh. Those are the three that I heartily recommend you learn first. Then you want to learn the E minor, which is a variation on the E. Just by taking off one finger, you make an E minor. Then you can make a two-finger E seventh by taking one finger off of the E, and it makes it E minor. You make an A, we can make an A seventh by taking off the middle finger. And um, you might want to know this A seventh, which is a barred A seventh here on the second and third frets. You'll want to know your C, your F, and your G, because you can take that with your capo up the neck, down the neck as you choose. So it gives you a very easy access to things. You'll want to know your your minor, so you'll know you didn't know your your A minor, which when you put on a capo, it's going to come up to here or to here, and that's no longer an A minor, but it's an A minor figure, meaning that's the shape that you create with your fingertips. You're going to want to know how to make a D. There's that A7. That comes in handy when you know this D and this A7. That's pretty good. Then you need to know your G. Well, C, F, G, G, D, A7. So it comes in handy there. <coughs> your C. Um, that's going to be pretty much almost all the songs you know are in C, probably. So <clears throat> that's you know pretty much a lot of C things in. Almost all the doo wop songs you know are in C. And the four chord songs are the same. That is, is a mix-up of the same exact chords you get in doo-wop. So you have C, A minor, F, G. C, A minor, F, G. So, ready? I'll show you this. This is for my guitar students on gorebag.com, G-O-R-E-B-A-G-G.com. It's all free. It's all free. All my guitar stuff is free. You can just go get it all free. I have no interest in your money. <clears throat> Let me show you something about how to convert doo-wop into four chord. It's really very simple, but you have to teach your hands to remember the chords. You can't do it with the brain. You can't do it by thinking. You got to teach your hands to make those chords so you can concentrate on the song you're trying to put over. All right, so watch. Here's your C, A minor, F and G. Let's get into a rhythm. C A minor F G. C A minor F G. C A minor F G. Get it? Now we're going to change it. We're gonna, it's still in C though. It starts in C, 
G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. C, A minor, F, G. C, A minor, F, G. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. C, A minor, F, G. C, A minor, F, G. C, G, A minor, F. Until you can do that, just roll it over like that, you really haven't got it. So once you can roll it over like that, you can slow it down, speed it up to make anything. Da, 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 da. I'm not thinking about which chords I'm, I'm, I'm doing there. Uh, or I shouldn't be, actually. Da, so C, G, A minor, F. And uh, when you slow it down, you're going to have to relearn it slightly. When you speed it up, you're going to have to relearn it slightly uh, until you have the, the rotation down on the thing. And if you put a bridge in there, you're going to have to come back into that again somehow with some sort of transitional. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. That could be your bridge. That's interesting. So you go C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. One more time. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. Now, C, A minor, F, and G. C, A minor, F, G. Now, G, C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. And then, Da 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 da. It could make a nice little bridge. You could actually raise that or something if you want to. Also, um, so that's you have the option of doing that. But making that transition between those two chord progression patterns is kind of important because it'll teach you to make transitions between anything else and anything else. It'll show you how to do that. So. Uh, you can do, for instance, um, D, G, A seventh, D, G, A seventh, D, G, A seventh. Uh, and now how about D, A seventh, D, G, D, A seventh, D, G. So, in other words, taking the same chords. But arranging them differently and, and and rhythming them differently, making them different beat patterns, different rhythm patterns, and so forth. But again, it's that transition back and forth between those. So start with C, A minor, F, G, and transition that to C, G, A minor, F. And that is, respectively, those are the doo-wop, classical doo-wop, uh, on the one hand, the C, A minor, F, G, and the so-called uh, four-chord song, which is the pop song of the 21st century, and that is C, G, A minor, F. So, you know, uh, they both work, they both sell, they're both good commercially, and uh, they, they've been long-term successful. They work together, they work separately, they work. So... Enjoy that. I hope it helps you a little bit to get through those rough edges that uh, that happen as you go. And you can be uh, fairly advanced to just not have picked up on something, so don't be embarrassed to learn something new uh, every day. There you go. That's for my guitar, my my guitar classes.